Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I think that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Y'all, today is the day I'm moving, so I'm about to try to get you out a quick read. I'm finna go pick up my U-Haul. So, yes, um, Pisces, thank you for showing up. Thank you for your patience. Let's hop into it. Let's collect the energy. Let's see what uh, the universe has for you on your soul's journey. Okay, what is the guidance for Pisces? Start reclaiming who you truly are. Start reclaiming who you truly are. It's a beautiful place to be where you at, where you live, where your authenticity is. Okay, look at it. It's so bright and youthful and colorful. It's just being you is amazing, right? So don't let nobody take you away from yourself, right? Your thoughts, none of that. Re start reclaiming who you truly are. And it's the universe way of saying, Pisces, be your authentic self. You're beautiful just the way you are inside and out, okay? So um, that's the guidance here on your soul's journey. Just be you. All right, Pisces, let's hop into this. Let's collect some energy. Let's see what's going on here. Let's talk to your person, Pisces. Let's see how they feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. Okay, we got the Knight of Cups to the Ten of Wands, okay? This person may have been kind of hard to love, okay? That's what I feel. feel like they've been kind of hard to lo love and they've been taking too long to make you a serious offer of love. Okay, so what is the energy of Pisces person? Oh, you might be encouraged to heal from this love, right? Pour into yourself, but let's see. What is the energy of Pisces person? How are they feeling about them when it comes to love, romance, and relationships? King of Pentacles, Mr. Conceal, don't feel. Mm -hmm. What is the energy of Pisces person? Four of Cups. Yeah, so somebody been holding back, making you an offer, right? Or hiding what they truly feel for you, right? Someone's been hiding their true feelings, Pisces. Six of Wands. Even though they know you the one. Somebody knows like they is they got like this inner feeling that that there's something about you that's supposed to happen in this lifetime. Like maybe they supposed to be with you or like maybe they they, they know they supposed to be in your life somehow, whoever this person is. And it's like they know that it's like they hide in what they feel but they know they supposed to be moving forward with you here, right? They not living in their truth here with the Queen of Swords coming in reverse. They not speaking what they really feel. They hiding what they really feel. And they missing an opportunity of success here with you, Pisces. This person knows that they supposed to commit to you or offer you something serious. They know they not supposed to play games with your heart here. Right? Page of Pentacles crossing that energy. They just hiding, okay, what they feel. They need to make you this offer. They need to speak up and speak on their truth. All right, Pisces. So this is the energy of your person. You guys, Mr. Conceal, don't feel. This is a very loyal and committed person, right? You could be in a relationship with this person, Okay, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, I feel like you're in a relationship with this person and they hide their true feelings, which means like they don't communicate what they feel like. Say like you can look at them because I know you, you the type that you can look at your person and you can tell if something's bothering them and you may question them about their feelings or, you know, what's going on with them. And they'll be like, you know, nothing or I don't want to talk right now. But yet the whole time they closed off and have like this attitude. Like when you trying to uh, console them or show them some empathy, you know, or just try to be there for them. It's like they don't receive your love, right? They don't, they not acknowledging that you're trying to help or that you're just being nice or sensitive because you know they're experiencing something right but they won't speak on it whole time they recognize your efforts right 
They recognize your efforts and they know that they supposed to surrender to that. Like they supposed to open up and talk to you that they're supposed to share their true emotion and feeling. Right. And they don't. They just don't. They don't speak the truth. They being fake. Right. It may be hard for this person to communicate their true feelings. They know in those times when you approach them and you concerned about them, they're supposed to open up and be expressive. That's the way to success in this relationship with a Pisces. You have to let Pisces see your vulnerabilities. Like if you feel like you're the type of person who can't show vulnerability or you feel like being emotional is weak, keep moving. Right. Do not waste your time with a Pisces if you feel like you are emotionally unstable or emotionally unavailable. OK, there's no way you're going to have a successful relationship with a Pisces if you do not know how to be emotionally available, period. So that's the energy your person is holding back what they feel on the inside, not what they feel for you, but what those true feelings and thoughts are going on within them. So let's see, why is your king of pinnacles so closed off? Because this is a very loyal person, financially stable. You know, they may care for you. They may always come through for you, hold it down. But at the end of the day, they emotionally closed off to their own feelings, right? They hold back coming into balance with their emotions, okay? They hold that part back of themselves and I don't know why. Maybe they need to, you know, start meditating or praying, you know, asking for the guidance to know how because some people don't even think like that. Some people don't look at me being emotionally unavailable as a problem. Okay, so however, this person has been holding back, you know, ex making their coming into balance with their emotion. And for that reason, you all are not on the same page, right? You all are not on the same path in life because you can't really connect with them the way you want to because they're so closed off and isolated. There needs to be some change or this relationship will end. Okay. So, um, if you're a cross watcher out here watching, you know, um, you got to learn how to show up emotionally, right? You can't keep holding back what you truly feel because Pisces can sense that and they can see that in you because they can look at you and tell when something's bothering you. And when they ask you, they expect for you to have a conversation. And even if you can't speak right then at that moment, they will allow you the time that you need. But if you never come through and you never speak on what was bothering you and you know, you let that pass and uh, nothing ever came out of it that still sits there and then the next time another situation come up where you can't be emotionally available that's when your Pisces you know starts to become distant from you as well right they will fight for you they will try to be patient with you they will give you the opportunity but if you never can be emotionally vulnerable or emotionally open or available you're gonna lose out on a good thing okay it creates conflict. It creates conflict within the relationship. So that's the energy of your person, Pisces. They're emotionally unavailable. They know they should be more emotionally available, but they hold that part of themselves back. They can't come into balance with their emotion. Therefore, it creates a conflict within the relationship, almost like competition too. I'm going to tell y'all cross watchers one thing about a fucking Pisces and um, they have to be a very developed and mature Pisces to be able to have that much self-control. But whatever you ain't giving your Pisces, they're getting it. They're going to get it. Whether it be from you or somebody else. That's a fucking fact. And it all depends on the maturity level, the growth level. You know what level your Pisces on. Now, if you got a Pisces that ain't that mature, 
Oh, you gonna know they cheating on you. You gonna know they gonna break up with you and everything. They ain't about to give you a chance. Now, Pisces, that's a little bit more mature. They're willing to work with you, okay? They're willing to work with you and give you the opportunity because they have the experience and know that it takes a little time. And maybe I shouldn't be so impulsive and quick to throw somebody in the trash, you know, when I can just be a little bit more patient, right? Now, the most mature Pisces, they're going to leave you too. Or they're going to keep you around, especially if you're financially stable and, and and they feel like okay i still have use of you yeah they're gonna do their thing and you're gonna be there while they do their thing hell you might be there when they thing be there <laughs> because i'm telling you they they that cold i'm sure pisces keep it real y'all done had a bunch of y'all ex women or y'all ex men in the same room yes you did yes you did you have had multiple sex partners in the same room at the same damn time, getting along, eating cucumber sandwiches with the crust cut off, drinking tea, drinking brews, drinking liquor, drinking wine, whatever. You have had multiple of your partners in the same room getting along. Tell me I'm lying. Yes, you have. Okay, but for your person, <laughs> they, they detach from their own emotions and then they're unable to receive yours when you're trying to have empathy for them. Right? They're not living in their truth. They ain't even clear on what that is. This person don't even know what real love feels like. They don't. They've never been loved. King of Pentacles. Somebody with money. Capricorn. Taurus. Virgo. Somebody with money. All they ever knew how to do was be used. They never had anyone sit down and take the time to try to understand them and love on them. And they don't know how to receive that. So they closed off to it. They are not in tune with being in a relationship with people who are emotional. They used to being in a relationship with people who use them, who take them up top for what they got. And I don't give a fuck. That's what they want. Take their ass up top. Page of Cups, okay? Your person needs to listen to their higher self because like I said, they know that they're supposed to open up emotionally. They know if you come at them wanting to know what's going on with them and just want to have that conversation to see if it's anything you could do to make them feel better, at least for the moment. If it's anything you could do to help, you will. And they know that. But it's too hard for them to listen to themselves. It's like when that voice in their head say, talk, talk to Pisces. Tell them what you feel. It's like they want to. It's right there on the tip of their tongue. But that shit, the words just never come out of their mouth. It never comes out of their mouth. So they're unhappy and therefore make you unhappy. Right? You not being able to know every single fucking detail about your person. You, it, you feel empty. Like, I can't fuck with you. I don't give a damn if this person bought you a house, a car, take care of your kids, whatever they do. If they can't connect with you emotionally, you, you feel like it. we ain't got nothing. I don't give a damn about that $2 million house. I don't give a damn about that $100,000 car. I don't give a damn that you take care of these kids. I don't give a damn. I'm empty here. You have to feed me. I don't eat food. I eat feelings. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Because they are so emotionally unavailable, you feel so empty. And like I said, depending on what level of Pisces you got, they going to they gonna go find what makes them happy. They going to find what makes them happy, whether you there or not. Okay? So your best bet is to recognize what Pisces is trying to do and go ahead and open up and be emotionally available so you can feel that void in Pisces so you and Pisces can have a successful relationship. Because if you're emotionally closed off, Pisces is going to find that success as somebody else. Okay? So you know what you need to do, right? In order to have success with your Pisces, you need to go from within. Right? You need to be fair about this. They open up emotionally to you. They let you know what's going on with them. It's only fair that you receive that and, and give it back. Right? Bring it into balance. Page of Wands in reverse. 
You're so uninspired to speak on your emotions in, in any type of way, your person. But they want to continue. They expect good things to come out of this relationship, though. Right? It's like how you expect to have the best of a relationship, one that's blessed, if you don't even desire sharing your feelings with an emotionally creature, with the someone who's life is based off emotion sometimes people got to learn who they dealing with you got to know who you dealing with right that's why astrology is so important numerology is so important knowing your purpose is so important you know knowing yourself is very important because if you don't know yourself, you're not going to be able to know other people and, and what triggers them and, and what, what helps soothe them. Okay? So your person ain't even expired to share their emotions in no shape, form, or fashion, but they expect the best things to come out of life. They need to bring themselves into balance. They need to go from within and check they self about they self. Because otherwise, this success they think that they can have with you because you're so understanding, because you've been so patient, because you've been working through these issues and may not have been speaking on how this truly makes you feel. They feel like they get in the way with being emotionally unavailable, but in reality, they just don't know you've been walking away, right? You've been stepping out. So, this person feel like they went in here with you. King of Swords, but you don't respect them. See how that is? That's crazy. You don't respect them because they are emotionally un-fucking-available. That's how important being emotionally available is to Pisces. I will not give you an ounce of respect. I will not fight for you. I will not fight for this. But I'll play along with your little game. It's almost as if I'll keep you around till I find something better. Meanwhile, I'm out here looking. That's the no respect I have for a person who can't be emotionally available. But your person don't see it that way. They see themselves winning here with you. They see, they feel like you the perfect match for them, right? Pisces, you may need to start speaking on how that make you feel too, right? Because the truth ain't being spoken with an ace of swords, right? There's, there's, there's no clarity around these emotions. So you need to tell this person how they make you feel when they emotionally unavailable. How does that make you feel? How does that affect you? Because right now they feel real confident. They feel like this relationship is very balanced, right? Because you might not speak on how it makes you feel when they closed off. And they feel like you okay with them being closed off. Like it's so normal, right? But it's not. They don't know that you have an e emotional, with, emotional loss within you, okay? But in their eyes, they're going to win this. You all are succeeding. You all are moving forward. They're confident in this relationship. But they don't even know you lost so much respect for them. Look, the King of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. All the Swords is in the reverse. Which means no action is being taken. Let's see. Why is this person not able to speak on their truth? Why are they not able to be emotionally available? They don't want to deal with it. Three of pentacles in reverse. They don't want strong, healthy emotions. They don't want to share their emotions with other people. That's just what they don't want to do, Pisces. They just don't. They just don't do that. I saw this eight of wands because it made me feel like they could talk about anything in the world other than emotions. It's like when it comes the subject of emotions come, they start talking about a, a lot of stuff that make you lose focus on what you really was trying to touch base on. Right. Then boom, gone something, you know, something just right. So this person up. Uh, they don't feel like they losing nothing. They don't feel like they lacking in, in nowhere. And I think a big chunk of that comes because you not putting the pressure on them about how their 
uh, how them being emotionally unavailable affects you. You don't speak on that. They don't speak on their emotion, what bothers them, what makes them, you know, whatever they're going through. They don't speak on that. And you, when you try to get through to this person and empathize with this person and them being closed off on you and how that make you feel, you don't tell them that. So therefore, they feel like they winning. They feel like this relationship is a good one because I don't have to be emotionally vulnerable. I don't have to express what I'm truly lacking. I don't have to work on my emotions. I don't have to speak on them. I don't have to build strong emotional bonds with people. That's what you not telling them how you feel makes them think. Page of Swords, right back at you. It's all about communication, being open and honest. It's all about being open and honest with your person and for them to be open and honest with you. Okay, communication is required in this situation. That's the energy. I hope it resonated. All right, let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the sixth chakra, and this is the third eye chakra, and this one is relevant to knowledge, okay? I recognize that a great deal of knowledge and information comes to me in the form of intuition, such as clairvoyance, clairaudience, and hypersensitive feelings. I use my intellect combined with my intuition to devolve into circumstances from a psychological and spiritual viewpoint. I aim to understand the truth behind situations that come my way as this helps me respond with wisdom. I cultivate positive beliefs about life, myself, and others. So knowledge, you got to know who you're dealing with. Knowledge is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.